Hi, welcome to Race Bloopers. Today we're going to talk about grill blockers. The main purpose of a grill blocker is to limit the airflow into the nose of the vehicle, which reduces the amount of air through the radiator to only the amount that you need to cool the vehicle. This in turn limits pressurized air behind the radiator inside the engine bay, which reduces front end lift. So the race louver grill blocker kit starts out with some simple black masking tape. You would use this to tape up your nose and experiment to see how much nose tape your car can handle before your temperatures increase too much. Now most cars come with say a 200 degree thermostat and um, you would want to limit the air coming into the car until you see the temperature rise above that rating. If your car normally runs at 200 degrees and all of a sudden you start seeing 205, 210, you know you're at the limit of how much cooling air you're restricting. And so maybe you want to back off with a slightly bigger opening, but that's how you would achieve um, the limitation of your car. Once you've established how much restriction or how much size you can restrict the uh, nose of your vehicle, you can use the supplied cardboard to cut out some templates for some blockers on your car. You can use the ABS plastic okay, to cut out the final finished panels. And there's enough in the kit to do four panels for a car with a top and a bottom radiator opening. And those panels can be installed with the supplied zip ties if you want to, say, install them behind the grill for aesthetic purposes. Uh, the kit also comes with Velcro, so you can make the grill blockers uh, easily removable. In case you have a car with license plates and you want to go to and from the track, you can easily switch. And of course, these can be trimmed if you happen to um, restrict a little too much. Now, race louvers, hood extractors are designed for maximum cooling and maximum downforce. In maximum cooling configuration, the extractors will provide suction uh, or extraction at the back end of the radiator. Uh, this coupled with the pressure at the front of the original grill opening, unrestricted, uh, nets large airflow gains through the radiator and engine compartment, which nets uh, significant cooling abilities in case you have, say, a high horsepower car or a car with a cooling issue. Now, the other configuration, maximum downforce, you would seal up the nose the car with grill blockers or just some simple nose tape and this in turn would limit the pressure feeding the front of the radiator but still allow the suction at the back so you can achieve the cooling air flow through the radiator that you need but at a much lower pressure. This in turn nets uh, significant reduction in front end lift which is downforce front down force. So that's how race louvers, foot extractors, and grill blockers work in uh, conjunction with each other. Now most non-vented hoods, or most hoods with generic hood vents that just vent, um, can only tolerate a small amount of nose tape. So there's not much gain in restricting the nose in a situation like that. Um, so, again, race louvers, foot extractors, some sealed up nose, uh, can net a large amount of front down force. So, if you're still unsure about that, and you don't know how much your nose can tolerate, I invite you to watch, say, NASCAR, because they're the king of nose tapes, or you can watch some Australian V8 supercars. 
because uh, they use uh, replaceable plastic grill blockers in and out of their cars. So maybe you want to Google or internet search that. But that's the gist of race looter grill blockers. Um, again, maximum cooling, maximum front down force, or somewhere in the middle. It's completely uh, tunable by you and how much you restrict the front end of the car. That's race looter grill blockers. Thanks for watching.